All right, Josh said here, foolhardy photography, and I thought I'd do a recap video on a Gikodo tripod that I've had for the last six months. I've used it a lot. It works. It is not a terrible tripod. In fact, I would go as far as saying it's a good tripod. Um, this is it here. This is a carbon fiber version of it called the Gikodo CT25 Pro Craftman. I'm, I mean, people ask me what kind of tripod I use. I'll just say a Gikodo tripod. I won't, I won't say all those numbers. I like it. A um, couple things. Um, before I say anything that I don't like about it, I love the, the, the ball head. And I've mentioned this before, the ball head, it's nice. It spins around, it's nice and gentle. It's really good for doing panoramas, right? So if you wanna do a panorama, you can just really simply just sort of really slowly tilt it around until you've got every shot you want. And it does, um, here, let's adjust it here. It does go down like this, so you can do it in, in a portrait style. You don't need a bracket. Uh, it's probably better to have a bracket, probably more sturdy, uh, easier probably. Um, but you don't have to. You can use the ball head, turn it down to the side, boom. Another cool thing about this is like two meters. It's two meters tall. I like it because it's tall. It's probably one of the tallest ones that you can get for this price range online that I've seen. I don't see any ones that are, I haven't seen any other tripod that reaches two meters for this price range. This was gifted to me, so I didn't pay for it. However, uh, when I look at the prices online and try to compare them, this seems like a really good, decent deal. One thing I don't like about this tripod is, yeah, I don't like these 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 grips here in order to tighten the legs. I'm not a fan of these. However, for even cheaper, another gift that I had was this tripod, which is also a Gikodo. Um, again, the name, I have to look at it because I, I don't remember this stuff. The AT24P, or two, AT24 Pro uh, Dreamer. And it's aluminum. Also very tall. Again, two meters tall. Very similar. The ball head's exactly the same except for that this is plastic. It's not bad plastic. It's strong. It's sturdy. I would trust it. Um, on my old tripod, um, my man Frodo, it's plastic. I've had it for seven years. It hasn't broke. It hasn't bro <laughs> has not broken. I actually don't know where the quick release plate is for this, <laughs> this one, but I assure you it's similar to this. It's made out of plastic, same material as this. It functions ex pretty much exactly like this one here, just different material. But what I like about this again is the legs. It has these cliffs. These are my favorite. I I don't I like the see that in the carbon fiber one. It's these. That's what would make it ever so much nicer. Um, I don't know why it's on this one, but I guess it has to do with the material and uh, how to, you know, install these clips. Maybe they have to do something else to the material in order to do that. I guess they didn't. Um, and it's sufficiently, this is like 60 oil right now. The, the, the other one, let's see here. I got it right here. So this one right now, the Dreamer, is 60 oil and 79 cents on Amazon. And the carbon fiber is 145 Oreo and 99 cents. I don't feel much weight difference from them. Um, I would like to see the metal, metal here, because on the, the carbon fiber you get a metal, you the metal head here, the base plate, and the quick release plate are metal. And on the other version they are plastic. So that being said. I kind of want to take this ball head again. You can take the ball head off of these and use it for other things. Like I put it on like my, my uh, shoulder rig, you know, just for an example. But if you have anything else where you can use a ball head, you can literally take the ball head off and stick it on stuff. So that's kind of cool. I'm, I'm thinking about taking the ball head off of this one and putting it on the other one. <laughs> You know, that might be what I do <laughs> from now on because I like the, I don't like these so much. I like the other one, I like the clips. Um, what else can I say? It's easily adjustable, smooth. I feel my camera's safe when it's on it. And the one final awesome thing about these tripods is that, well, there's two other things actually. One is that the, the second is a monopod. So if you just want to use a monopod, you can literally take it off and make it a monopod. Uh, 
and I have a monopod. Boom, monopod. Yeah, monopoding it up. The biggest gothic festival in the world in Leipzig, Germany, and I used it to film stuff using that uh, the monopod. helpful. Another thing is you can actually flip this around, put it underneath, and then you can, you know, do macro shots, shoot from a low angle, so you can literally flip this around and stick the ball on the other on the bottom end here. So that's also cool. So there's like many functionalities for a fairly low, decent price. I'd recommend the cheaper one. And uh, now that I've, you know, I've had this long enough and I just don't like these. I mean I like the feel of carbon. It, the carbon fiber is a nicer feel. But I do like this tripod, I like the feel of it. It's sturdy and it's, uh, I've performed a lot of photographic tasks with it. Um, I'll show you some of the photos I've taken with it. So I took a few good panoramas that this ball head really helped with. And I like how smooth it is, especially for video as well. It's actually really nice to just sort of be able to pan around and remove the ball head, use it for whatever you want. You can make a monopod and you can flip it around and do macro photography if you want. That's pretty cool for the price. Highly recommend the Gikoto tripod here. I, I'd go for the cheaper one, just, just saying, because if you just need a tripod um, and you don't care if it's carbon or aluminum, I would definitely go for the cheaper one. I don't think you're going to regret it. Like I said, I, I trust the plastic. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Josh Zed. Thank you kindly for watching. If this helped you, cool. It's up to you. I don't really want to make your decisions for you, but if you, if you want to, you can like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that helps my channel and helps me, you know, um, with inspiration to make more videos. Appreciate it.